Hey my friends, Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking. In this video, we're gonna do a quick unboxing and we're gonna test out this chain cleaner. Um, it's the Muck Off X3. It's called the, what, X3 Dirty Chain Machine. So we're gonna give this thing a try. Now I'll tell you what, before we actually get things started, if you're into mountain bike product reviews, unboxings, uh, how-to tips, POV video, anything that has to do with mountain biking, do me a favor and click those subscribe and bell buttons over there so you can always know what's going on with the regular guy mountain biking uh, YouTube channel. All right, so I guess first things first, let's go open this thing up. Um, actually, I got this thing from MTB Box. So MTB Box is this program where they send you bike stuff. It's a box of uh, mountain bike stuff every other month. And you guys sign up for it. It's a subscription that my wife got for me for uh, Christmas. It was actually a really pretty cool gift. So um, I'll put a link to MTB Box in the description below if you want to learn more about it. But anyway, let's go and open up uh, this thing. So inside the box, you get um, a container of their, I guess their uh, drive chain cleaner. We'll just I'll put this down here. You get the actual uh, cleaning device over here. And what else do we got? We got some instructions. And I think this is a handle. It looks like a handle. Yeah, it's a handle that can go, uh, well, I, gotta, I guess you have to set it up, but it goes on here. I'll get this whole thing set up now. But that's what you actually get in the box. So the instructions seem pretty straightforward. You have to um, open up this thing and open up this thing and put the stuff inside. So to open up this thing, you got a little little uh, lever here, a little flap that you open up, and this comes up, and you've got some little teeth that the, the top kind of slides into. I'll make sure I take a picture of that so you can see it closer. Um, I'm a little nervous about these teeth because when I first took this off and didn't know what I was doing, I took it off and I went like this, like tried to pull it off, and I didn't crack the teeth, but I can see how someone could crack those teeth really, really easy. So I don't like that design like that. If you go, you're gonna crack those off. So that's a little freaky. Um, other than that, it's got some little uh, rubber, like um, brushy things over here and some more brushy things here and a little more brushy thing there. And I guess apparently what happens is you, you fill this up to the, um, there's a little line over here for fill. It says it right there, fill. You fill it up and then you, you push the button. So you get this thing on the chain. I'll take a video of it when we get it all set up. But you put it on the chain, you push this button, and it, it drops the fluid into the device and um, it starts cleaning the chain. So let's go and give this a try. Let's go and let's open this thing up. I mean, that was pretty straightforward. It opened, right? There you go. Now, um, I guess this is proprietary. I don't know. But um, well, this is actually kind of cool. You could, from the way it looks here. All right. What should work is I can take this off and fill this up without anything dripping out. So let's let's give that a try here real quick. I got the fill line. Okay, I'm gonna. You put this in the hole, and you 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 fill this up. Now nothing's dripping out. That's kind of cool. Nothing's dripping out. So you can fill it up. Okay, um, you kind of keep squeezing it and you fill it up to the fill line. All right, and then we'll put this on, on the chain. All right, I'll make sure I get some pictures of this. So to fill this up once, you use, I'd say maybe uh, a third of this Ghostbuster slime green looking stuff. So you only, I, I don't know if you can reuse this, probably not because it's going to get poured down. So um, you only get, you don't get a whole lot out of that. I'm also a little concerned with the fact that it's like a proprietary thing. You have to like have their little bottle to put it, I don't know, we'll have to talk about this a little bit. But anyway, let's get this over on the bike and see how it works. Okay, so, um, got the camera here, here's the chain. All right, and I got the, uh, I got the, the, the cleaner thingy here. Um, also, if you hear a little bit of wind, I'm outside right now. I didn't really feel like doing this in the uh, studio and getting stuff all over the place. So if you hear a little wind, I'm sorry about that. But okay, so this goes on here like this. Pretty, pretty, like, like, duh. Um, that makes sense. But something you should do first that I didn't do is you got to put the handle on because you can't put the handle on with this top on. Not a big deal. The handle can go on either way. Um, I'm going to put it on, as you can see that, I'm going to put it on 
with it facing down, but you can face it either way. It doesn't make a difference. It's personal preference. I don't think it really matters much. Okay, so I slap this on. Remember, go underneath those teeth. I'm really concerned with those teeth. I got to tell you. Okay, this goes... What am I doing wrong here? I'm doing it wrong. Okay. This goes underneath the teeth. You put that on there like that, and you slap that over. Uh, let me walk around. Let me see. Okay, let me start. You start pedaling backwards. Okay, I'm going to push this down in a minute to drop the fluid down. But it basically... This part locks, there's a two little um, little thingamabiggers here that lock this around your rear mech, okay? So that works good, and then you'll just kind of spin it. Okay, let me, let me take some pictures and reposition this, uh, reposition this a little bit, and we'll, we'll get started. Okay, now that I got everything laid out a little bit, I needed to balance the bike a little bit more so that the fluid was going to be a little evener. <laughs> Okay, and let me go and uh, see if I can do this with the camera. Actually, move the camera one more time. Sorry. Let's move this right here. Okay. Okay, so now I pedal this backwards, and I start dropping in. I push, I'm pushing this button right here, and that's supposed to release the fluid. And um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm seeing stuff go down. All right. And uh, we just keep spinning it. And actually move it away from the rear mech a little bit. Okay. Um, the train, the chain is definitely dripping a lot of yucky stuff. That's good. That's a good thing. Chain actually looks quite a bit cleaner, actually. Um, you don't see much fluid though in the bottom here. So, um, I guess it's still in the chain, or... I don't know, let me do this a little bit more. Alright, so it, it does a pretty good job. Uh, but let's go and talk about this thing for a second. Alright, so I took it off, and I figured we'll just kind of wrap things up real quick and talk about it real quick. So I'm basically comparing this to the park chain, uh, chain cleaner. Uh, it's a pretty popular and I think in a lot of bike shops standard tool that you have in there. And so there's some differences. The park, you kind of fill the bottom up with fluid. And then as you move the chain through it, it kind of bathes the chain in the fluid. I'm not sure how I like this top part. Um, you know, sometimes you overcomplicate something for the sake of making it cool. I mean, like it's got a button, it's cool, but do you need it? I don't know. Um, I have noticed that you didn't need to use all this fluid to clean, to, to clean the chain. So maybe you, you leave some in here and you can use this more. I just think by my luck, it would probably end up leaking, but whatever it, it did work. It did do a good job and clean the chain. But, um, the big one that I'm really concerned with is these teeth i know i keep bringing this up but the fact is if these things break you can't use it anymore yeah i'm a little half and half on that um and i'm also concerned with the fact that you have to use a proprietary um fluid like device to fill it up i don't know if i like that so um i'll continue to use it i mean i've got at least a lot more fluid to oh, two-thirds of fluid left to use so i'll continue to use it um, maybe I'll post some things on Instagram. I'd like your tips and tricks and opinions. Do you guys have this muck off cleaner? Am I, I don't know, am I picking on it for things that really aren't that important? I'd really love your thoughts on it. And um, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, like, subscribe uh, if you're enjoying these type of things. And um, otherwise, keep the party on the pedals, my friends. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.